hi guys how are you doing welcome back to my channel my name is Dami Show and I create content on lifestyle vlogs and everything in between living in Canada as a new immigrant <laughs> see I know some of you be thinking after many months this guy is a new immigrant yes according to the Canada government according to my people I am still a new immigrant for the first three years. That is, I am a new immigrant till I collect my blue passport. You people should not be sick and tired of this man. New immigrant, everything new immigrant, everything new immigrant. Anyways, I'm a new immigrant. And I've been living in Canada for about eight months now, I think. March to November. Is that eight months? I don't know. I don't. March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November nine months uh -uh. it's been nine months living in this country and i'm here today to talk to you about how we got into debt by now 2023 yonde elantra preferred and i've been getting a lot of questions about this car since i posted it and i felt it is very needful and very important for me to do this video so today i'm coming to tell you how we got the car and some of the features of the car because i remember that when we posted the car i did not know jack <laughs> about it but i'm proud to tell you that after a couple of months driving that car now and i know a lot and i know the features of the car even if i still don't know everything according to my knowledge According to what I know, because I don't know generally, I'm not a car person. So according to my knowledge, I'm going to let you guys know. I'm coming to tell you based on my own knowledge. But I want you to understand it from my own perspective as a lady that doesn't know anything about car. And yeah, so let's get right into the video. Guys, I'm going to start off this video talking about the features of the vehicle thereafter i'll let you know of the price and how much we pay and how we go into this and how we ordered it and every other thing so right now you would permit me to get a jota because you know this girl doesn't know much about this but i'm going to let you know of the features that i have experienced in the car so there's something called adaptive cruise control basically the car can move by itself it can drive by itself you just needs to press a button and you don't need to use your brake or your accelerator until you, you don't need to use your accelerator at all but you could use your brake when you see that there's a need to so the car can move by itself that's cruise control and there's also something called driver's attention notice so i've noticed this several times at the um traffic light and um the car in front of you is moving and i'm not moving and i'll just hear the car doing pim 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 like it's going to alert you that like attention you need to put your attention on the road that's two there's another thing called um um collision avoidance that's like you're driving and you don't quickly press your brake the car is going to brake by itself that doesn't guarantee 100 non uh, non collision but at least it's going to assist you to avoid as much collision as possible except somebody is coming to jam you but the car has been done in a way that you would really eat somebody because he has brake assist. You also have something called driving assist. assist. That's um, what driving assist. You also have something called lane departure warning. That means there's a button you turn on on the car. Usually it's always on. And if you're leaving your lane, it's going to beep you that your hand is shifting. Go back to where you're supposed to be. <laughs> Not only does um, the car beep, it also shifts you. So the first time I noticed it, I was driving. And I just realized that the car like, slightly swerved back. Like... The steering shift i'm like what's um, this lane following assist too so it will follow you the car is also a smart vehicle so when you turn on the smart um something it will learn the way you drive i don't know what that one is for but it will learn the way you drive and all of that then parking collision as it's avoidance same thing with the um 
collision avoid brake collision avoidance this one if you want to park it will avoid you to collide with somebody <laughs> the car has plenty scenario people as that i'm always annoyed that this car's over service too much then he has um rare occupants are that like maybe you're reversing and a car or somebody's passing to beep like you stop then he also has safe exit warning like you want to exit it to warn you too many car is passing by you when you are i think that's driving as assist when you um turn the indicator on and you want to move to the next lane or something and there's a car coming it's gonna beep it's gonna let you know there's a car beside you i don't know he has um remote starts so we can start the car in the apartment while the car is parked in the underground like remote as you don't need to see the car before you start it it's good for this weather especially for those that park outside we don't use it because we don't park outside so our car is usually not cold except for days like when i go into if but for me if i go into the office where i park my car behind my window so uh, before i leave i'll just start the car into eat up because it's, the weather is cold so by the time i get into the car it is already heated um he has um, automatic um keyless entry so once the key is inside your bag or your pocket you don't need to press it before you it's allowed to enter the car it will dictate and it's allowed to enter the car it has it test seat it has it test steering i really love that it test steering eh? especially days when i forget to let me look like i go out and i don't start the car prior to getting into it i'll just turn on the um steering it and it will work marvelously well i'm not being cold i don't like this heated seat because it's too hot i should do <laughs> the car i tell that that sky is on is too much <laughs> i don't know this car just has a lot that's what i know that i have noticed in the car i'm sure for somebody that read that did the research like mr d that did research about the car I will know a lot of things about it guys the first day i used the um um cruise control ah <laughs> i was scared because like i tell me that i will not use brake and i will not use as i left i'm like no i don't want to do this let's do it why not no and cruise control is actually very sweet in this part of where i drive very sweet you you it's not advisable to use it in like environs but on the highway oh sweet ah you just chill and be going okay i also have steering assist i think that's driving assist too yes you can take off your hand off the steering for i think maybe 10 or 20 seconds i think and it will beep you again to hold it just so you are sure the car is sure that there's somebody inside the vehicle and because i mean it's moving on its own and then you have to remove your hand from the steering so in like 10 15 seconds it will beep you hold the steering leave it again jiggle all kind of thing just so the car you know that there's a woman being inside so that's a lot of the features the boot can open itself from wherever you are it's like that keyless assist now let's talk about how we got this car i don't want this video to be too long but there's a lot to talk about this car how we got the car we came in march and we ordered this car in june so because we understood because we're moving to ontario um, alberta calgary in september august we knew that it is very important to um get a car so what we did was we ordered it because of course we knew that there was scarcity of cars it's the worldwide thing so you have to order your car if you want a new car or it's new car so you if you want a new car you have to order it prior to when you need it so we ordered our own in june and we were told that it will come at the end of august we ordered um um one metallic color like that it's gray so there are different kind of colors it's one color different variant so we ordered metallic and um that didn't come it was something else that came but it's also in the class of gray we we ordered metallic gray and midnight gray came yeah i think that's what it is if i don't get it right i'll put it up on the screen for you guys and so luckily for us so in the ordering we paid down payments 
I'll be part payment for them to order your car and um so the thing is when my husband got the sales guy the guy told him that there are some cars coming in that he needed to book it by making some payments so the good thing for us is we went for the car um early because if we wanted to like get a car a like new car i don't know how to explain it like if they're just going to manufacture the car just for us it's going to take a longer time than us getting it in two months so apparently there are just a few cars that have been manufactured but didn't have owners yet and they were coming into Calgary. so we paid down payment in that june for them to put our name on the car so that when the car comes it's going to be ours so luckily for us they told us and it's not luckily exactly but they told us end of august luckily the car came like beginning of august so they were calling us when i get to come to come and pick up because we were, we were coming end of august to we'll come end of august we'll come and pick up our car we'll sign the papers but the guy was just this guy offered that ah should he come and use the car to pick us from the airport you know grand grand um entry into car we're like no don't worry we'll take over <laughs> We'll come into the store the next day and then we'll have to let them know that um by the time we get to the seat to Calgary, they will have closed. The guy said, No, it's no problem. That is gonna wait. <laughs> Anyways, we went the next day. I'm sure you guys have seen this video of when we went to pick up the car. So, how did we get so the thing is we got our car on finance? So that's the basic that I said we are in debt, and this car cost about I have to use the paper now sorry excuse me this car was about twenty three thousand, like landing cost and then you know how cars are or i don't know you know how new cars are there are a lot of things additional money that come with it like maybe anti-rust all those people will tell you that to insure your car to forever or for like seven years you pay amount of money i think that one was five thousand like any repairs on your car for the next eight years so the car comes with um manufacturer's warranty for two years yes comes with manufacturer's warranty for two years then you're supposed to pay for extended warranty for another seven eight years and that was like 5k and um, five thousand dollars um insurance and um so there was color protection there was anti-rust protection then tax then what else i can't remember but the good thing of how we got our car is luckily for us you know new immigrants your so canada is a credit system yes yeah? so um for you to be able to get a mortgage get anything financed your credit score your credit must be good like must have good standing even to rent out say anything financial your credit score has to be good even to get a phone your credit score has to be good but because we were requesting for the car three months after we landed there was no way our credit will have gotten to that stage of where we are expected to be for this amount of car so luckily for us we got the something called newcomers exception they were doing some kind of i don't know what it is but luckily for us we got approved to finance our car i think everything ended up to maybe 30 something k or 40 something k the numbers i don't know i just know how much we pay monthly i'll tell you that um so we like i said we initially paid down payment the day we we're going to go and pick up our car we put down some more money um towards the principal uh, amount so that our um our monthly money will reduce because of the percentage you know by the time your by the time um we put down some amount of money for the principal amount of the car and then the rest is going into finance with um interest rate and the interest rate was a bi it was about seven point something i heard that there was one time in this canada like maybe two three four years ago interest rate was like one percent two percent i have a friend that got this and same yonder one time like maybe three years ago for free and not for free 
zero percent interest rates because they were doing something so there have been at those times where interest rates have been really low but this time around things have changed interest rates is now high so because of the interest rate because of the amount the car was going to end up to we needed to put something down and luckily for us we got approved because that's such a big deal a new immigrant getting approved for car i didn't even know it was a thing but apparently our getting approved was a big deal so the reason why we went for new car so in ninja we're driving a rav4 we do not have issues with it it did not have mechanical problem we're living the chilled life just servicing that car really never went to mechanic for the number of years that i drove it but you know sweet, new car is sweet and then um there's not even as much as we never had, we usually didn't have um uh, mechanical issues the car still went to mechanic one day shock another day something 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 so my husband really wanted a new car i didn't even know anything just give me a car that i can drive and it's not manual <laughs> as my principle i'm not in about which car which car so he did the research and found the car he knew that he wanted um new vehicle and he told me babe should we get new yeah so new car we will tear the rubber ourselves that's what <laughs> but these people didn't allow us to tear the rubber ourselves who told them to prepare the car for us before we got there they prepared the car everything was already ready they even bought full tank for us so we did not tear rubber only a few rubbers that we thought ourselves i mean line on i mean rubber only a few with us but the real the chair on everything they removed it for us why who sent that message Anyways, by the way, where was I? So we got approved because he was very much interested in owning a new car. And I've heard several sweet stories about owning a new car. Because you're not going to do anything for that on that car except for maybe brake part and brake part change and servicing. And luckily, um, um, for the next like five, six years. And the good thing is, this car that we bought, I don't know if it's a yonder thing or i don't know if it's a new car thing but we get free servicing so free servicing for a number of kilometers and yeah so the numbers our car ended up being around 30 something k the numbers i don't have but i know we pay about 400 and something monthly so like 220 by weekly um 220 by weekly and that amounts to like 440 or 430 something. I can't remember for sure how much it is, but I know it's not up to 450. It's like 440 something or 430 something that we pay monthly on our car. And we pay insurance for 205. And I know a lot of people tell me that that insurance is cheap. Yes, uh, at the way, I got cheap insurance. Mr. D did got insurance maybe like 230 something or 240 something i shall have found a way i shall have got it to 205 lucky me if you want to be sure let me know if you want to know if you want if you're a new immigrant i'll basically let me just tell you that if you're a new immigrant and you desire to own a new vehicle instead of buying a used one from dealers or from facebook i don't have anything against it if we did not have the opportunity or the finance or the i don't know whatever to go through this new car we would have probably gotten a car of dealership or of facebook marketplace but here we are with a 2023 yonday preferred so this car there are three types of yonday preferred yonday 2023 preferred we chose the middle one it is not hybrid hybrid is more expensive i don't like 40 something thousand don't worry that 23,000 that we got it you're not too well, all right so if you're a new immigrant and you want a new vehicle don't look at it as something that is far-fetched you can do it if you're interested let me know send me a mail send me a message on instagram i'll be willing to guide you if you want i don't know i don't come for me for cheap insurance but for this car i can give you the contacts of the guy that sorted out so new immigrants come to me if you want cheap no not cheap <laughs> If you want plug for the card, the guy was really nice, the sales guy. I know he's was selling his market. You will have gotten money of the car sold, but he provided a fantastic um, service. And I promised him that for this that you have done, 
if i find anybody that is interested i'll let you know and the guy gave us even free gift set i think i showed it in that like, yes i showed it in the video he gave us like a pack of gifts for the car so yes that's how we have that's how we are in over 30k debt owning a car in canada uh 2023 yonde elantra preferred and i'll put the picture here for you guys to see in case you have not seen it but this is the car that put us in monthly busy <laughs> i got to pay for this car in six years i believe or maybe five years those numbers i don't know i just know we pay money monthly <laughs> yes thank you very much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned a thing or two you can get financing for your car you don't have to drop 20 something 30 something thousand dollars down to own to drive a sweet car in this country this country is going to help you the system is already there so don't see that someone because you see somebody driving 2023 car you feel like person has has the old money in the world no i'm sorry in canada we finance a lot of things and this car is part of the things that my family and i have financed so i'm enjoying it no regret whatsoever sweet vehicle sweet road everything everything and i forgot to mention that the tires are all season so we don't have to buy winter tires that was a good one for us because winter tires are going to cost about i don't know but for that kind of our car it was about one thousand dollars so we saved ourselves one thousand dollars because the manufacturers of the car did it well to put all season tires anyways enough of my talk but it, that is how we have a new vehicle we are financing it in canada thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed something i hope you learned something from this video and i'll see you in the next one bye